Pope Francis has appointed 13 new cardinals and Wilton Gregory has become the first African-American cardinal, which is Catholic Church's highest governing body. This is being considered as a groundbreaking act in a year when racial tensions have intensified. In recent months, Gregory has taken a key role in calling for dialogue to reduce social tensions in America. He had addressed the death of George Floyd, an unarmed black man who died after white Minneapolis police officer knelt on his neck for almost nine minutes in May this year. Gregory blasted President Donald Trump's photo, hoisting a Bible at a Washington church. Earlier in June this year, when the Black Lives Matter protests broke out, the police and armed soldiers used tear gas and rubbed bullets to clear the protesters so that Donald Trump could be photographed in front of a historic Washington church holding up a Bible. Gregory also has been a leader in aggressively addressing the Roman Catholic Church's sexual abuse scandals and shoring up the church's zero-tolerance policy. We bishops will always have the deepest regret for those, who's, who, for those who were abused and who must live with that pain and all of their lives. No apology can undo that. Yet we must never cease to remember them, reach out to them, and ask for their forgiveness. Nine of the new cardinals are eligible to enter a conclave to elect Francis's successor after his death or his resignation. The four others are over the age of 80 and are being elevated to the high rank because of their long service to the church. They include Archbishop Silvano Tomasi, an Italian who has worked around the world and is one of the church's top experts on immigration. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.